Good evening, Lobby. We are uh, ready to start our Corner to Corner Mini. Uh, and we are on, let's see here, we are on row 18. And let's get started. Uh, I'm going to give you a count. We are going to do four off-white, five pink, one hot pink, three pink, and five green. So let's get that row done first. And here we go. Okay, so we're going to chain up six for our increase. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Count back one, two, three, four, and double crochet into that fourth chain from hook. Again to the fifth chain. And then the sixth chain, or the first one next to the black. And then we are going to do four of these. So chain up three after you slip stitch. And then double crochet three times right underneath that top post. One, two, and three. And then again, slip stitch right underneath that top post. Go in, grab it, slip stitch, chain up three. And then again, right underneath that top post, right there. And double crochet three times. One, two, and three. One more. Slip stitch right into that area underneath the post. Chain up three. And then right underneath that area, we're going to double crochet three times. One, two, and three. And I kind of just picked up my work and went with it. I didn't take care of my string from the time before, so. I'm going to go ahead and give my strings some yanks. Then we are on the next one, which is... Actually, we're going to skip this hot pink. So we're going to cut this. And we're going to just a pink. So figure out where your string is coming from. And get that right out of there. And then we're going to go to this pink, and we need five pinks. So make sure you have enough yarn out. I'm just going to pull that to the back. Okay. So we're going to pick up this pink here. And underneath this top post, we're just going to lift this up a little bit. Underneath this top post, we're going to go in, grab the pink yarn, bring it through the block, and then bring it through the post. Chain up three. And then right there underneath that top post, we're going to double crochet three times. One, two, and three. And then, again, we're going to do five, so you're going to connect, chain three, and double crochet right underneath that top post three times. So, keep going. We need five of them. I know, how you, I know you know how to double crochet, so let's just connect to the blocks. We're not changing colors right now. Connect, chain three. and then double crochet. The next video I do I will um, show you how to write and read the graph. Uh, do more of a beginner's lesson on this. I just really needed to kick out these blankets and I thought well for the heck of it I would go ahead and uh, maybe practice myself too. 
but um, give you a pattern. It's a cute one. So just keep going. We need five pink blocks. Last one. Double crochet. Three times. One. Two. And three. Hmm. I'm gonna slip out of there. Alright, I'm gonna pull that back out. Do that again. Okay, so. Now we need one hot pink, and we do have, maybe, yes, we do have that string ready, so just uh, go through there underneath that first post, bring that through the block and the loop, chain up three, and double crochet three times underneath that post. One, two, and three. Let's don't forget to go back and give a tug on the strings that we changed colors with. Just make sure they're tight. And we are going to do three pinks. So we'll grab this pink up, go underneath the first post, grab the string, bring it back through the block, bring it back through the loop, chain up three, and then double crochet right underneath the post. Oops. Okay, so we need three pinks. I have a, a really messed up uh, thing of yarn there. Should have messed with my yarn, but I didn't. I was being lazy. Just going from one video to another. And I had moved the board a few times, so. Okay, so here we go. Last one. Chain three. And double crochet. Right there. Three times. And then our next one will be five greens. So I am going to push this mess away so it doesn't constantly coming at me. I really don't get the tangles as long as I keep string out. Just keep yanking them. There we go. Okay. Oops. Oops, I'm passing a string. I wonder what that was. Okay, so I'm going from three to five greens, so I'm going to cut this one, figure out where it's coming from, and get it up out of the way. And grab up the screen, and go right underneath that top post there, grab the green, bring it through the block, bring it through the... Uh, loop and chain three and then double crochet right into that area right under that top post three times one two and three and do five just go right across and build blocks do uh, five green blocks one chain three one, two, and three. And just keep connecting. Chain three. And keep on building.
Two more. One more. Chain three. And double crochet three times. And we will get a count before we move on to row 19. Okay. So on our count, let's see here, we have four off right, one, two, three, four, five pink, one, two, three, four, five, one hot pink, one, two, three pinks, and one, two, three, four, five green. Turn your work. And go back and give your strings a nice tug. I know I was, I think I was missing a couple on mine. Looked like I had a few gaps. Okay. So those are done. I'm going to cross off row 18. One thing I didn't do on this video that I really will do on the next, like I said, was to show you how to read and write. Uh, but just go over some of the technical things about this, um, about graphic gaining. Count by numbers or crochet by numbers, as the gentleman had called it. Um, that is just writing your instructions. It's pretty easy, so I will teach you that. Okay, so row 19. Let's get a count. We're going to do one green, two whites. We're going to introduce a white bobbin this time. Three hot pinks, three pinks, one hot pink, four pinks, one hot pink, and four off white. So let's get going. We're going to chain up six. Build our, bro our block. So we're going to double crochet into the fourth, fifth, and six. Chain from hook, fourth, fifth, and six. I built, I think I built too many, or I built, <laughs> crocheted too many loops there. Let me do this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. Okay. Fourth chain from hook, fifth chain from hook, and sixth chain from hook. And then... We are doing only the one green. Now we're going to introduce the white bobbin. So what we're going to do is grab up your white and whether you're going to make your loop or just wrap it over top. Like I said, I've seen it done a couple ways. I'm just going to wrap this one over, leaving enough for an end. I don't know, four to six inches. I leave quite a bit. I've seen people leave three. I just don't think that's enough. Okay, so I'm going to go around both. Bring my short string forward and chain up two. And then I'm going to double crochet right over top of that string three times. One. Two. And three. Oops. And we're doing two whites, so we're going to do another one. So throw that to the back. And then go into the next. Connect. Chain three. And double crochet three times. And then we're going to do three hot pinks. Okay, sure ahead of me a little bit. Well, we're going to have to introduce the pink bobbin, the hot pink bobbin. The one we removed from before. So grab up your hot pink. And then bring your... I tuck this string back behind my finger. And I bring this through the next block. 
grab up my string, bring it through the block, bring it through the loop, go around both, bringing that short string forward, chaining up two more, and then double crocheting right over top of that string, right into that area under the first post three times. One, two, and three. So we need three of these. So go on to the next. One, two, three. And double crochet three times. And then build one more hot pink. One more here. Oops. Chain up three. <laughs> that just doesn't want to go in there. Okay. And then double crochet three times. And then we will do three pinks. So just go on to three more pinks. I already have the string there. So grab your string and bring it through the block, bring it through the loop, chain up three, and double crochet three times. Do a total of three blocks. Curious to how many of you have joined in on a pillow workshop and uh, done one of the pillows. Let me know. Let me know what you thought about it. Or show it to me. If you haven't already showed it in the group. It's one, two, and three. And one more. It's a total of three. Three pinks. Chain three. And double crochet three times. One. Two and three. There we go. And we need, let's see, we did the three hot pinks, three pinks. We need a hot pink, which we have a string here. We need one. So let's go up and bring that through both. Chain up three. And double crochet right underneath there three times. One. Whoops. One. Two. And three. We needed one, so let's go back and give a tug on these colors. And then we need four pinks. Yes, four pinks. We already have our pink here. So again, we're going to bring that through the black, bring it through the loop, chain up three, and double crochet three times. One, two, and three. Do four of these blacks. Let's go right across. Same thing. Chain three and double crochet three. One, two, and three. Under the next. One, two, three, and double crochet three. Okay, so let's see, we got three. We need one more. Okay, so chain up three and double crochet three. And that is your fourth pink. So you're going to do a hot pink next. will be a hot pink and we do not have that hot pink so we will have to 
add a hot pink. So grab up your yarn and add that hot pink. So you're going to take it through the block and through. Okay. Looks like we have about 10 minutes left. So I think we'll be able to get one more. So we're going to chain up two and double crochet three times. That is our one hot pink that we needed. And then we will do the rest in off-white, which is four. So you'll do four off-whites. That's going to take you to the end. So again, you're going to lift up your string, go underneath that top, grab up your string, bring it through the block in the loop, chain up three. Just trying to speed up a little bit here so I can get in that next row. So just go all the way to the end by uh, building four of these off-white blocks. Slip stitch, chain three, and double crochet three times. One, two, and three. Two more. My puppy's sleeping. Just heard her grunt. I have a husky. Actually, she is a Aussie. She's an Australian healer and a husky mixed. Very cute. Okay, so that does it for this row. Let's get a count. So row 19, we have one green, one, two whites, one, two, three hot pinks, one, two, three pinks, one hot pink, one, two, three, four pinks, one hot pink, and four off whites. So that was row 19. We're going to turn our work, but I'm going to turn my work back the other way, which I should have been doing all along and I wasn't. And that's why I'm getting my little mess here. But I'm not worried about it. Okay. So we are on row 20. Row 20 is going to be five off-whites, one hot pink, one, uh, three pinks, one hot pink, two pinks, five hot pinks, two whites, and one green. So let's try and get this row in real quick before my time runs out. So we're going to chain up six. I'm going to give my strings tugs before I work so I don't have any issues. Here we go. Chaining up six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Going to double crochet into the fourth chain from hook. Oh, geez, I'm having issues tonight. All thumbs. Fifth chain from hook. And six chain from hook. All right, and then right under the previous rows post, the first one, we're going to slip stitch, chain up three, and double crochet right underneath that first post, right in there, three times. And that's what we're going to repeat this whole time across. Other than when we're changing colors, that's what we're going to do. So to make up a little bit more time, if you need to see that, you're going to have to go back. So we're going to do five. So that's two. Chain up three, double crochet three. One. Two. Three. Oops. Three. That's three of them. One, two, oops, two, three, I've never used a new hook and it just seems so slippery, it's just hard to 
I've never used this hook before. I don't know. It's just not mine. Thought I would try a new one that I got for Christmas. And I should have just grabbed my old one because you just get used to them, I think. Okay, so five. We need one more. Okay, chain up three. Yep, just slip, keep slipping off. Okay, and double crocheting three times. One, two. <laughs> I have to go dig out my old one after this video. Three. Okay, so the next we have is a hot pink. So we'll put that to the back. Grab up our hot pink. All right, and then let me tighten this up. We're going to go underneath that top one, grab in the string, bring it through the block and the loop, chaining up three, and then underneath that top post, we're going to do three double crochets. And let's see what else we want. Three pinks. So we're going to lift up our pink and give it three tugs on this. We want three pinks. And raise it up, slip stitch, chain three. Double crochet three times. We're going to do three of these. Slip stitch, chain three, and double crochet three times. Oops. <laughs> Okay, so I'm curious to what your ideas are for our next graph. Um, whoops, okay, so we have our three pinks. Now we would want to go to one hot pink. So five, one, three, and then yes, one hot pink. We do have it here, so let's bring this up. And bring it through chain three and uh, double crochet three times one two and three Give those tugs to the ones, the colors before. And then we want two pinks. So lift that string up, go up into the block, through the loop, chain three, and double crochet three. Okay, so that's, we need two of these. One, two, three. Got five hot pink. So we're going to lift this hot pink up here. Now this is two away. There's a little trick to this one. Um, you can cut it. Yeah, let's just cut it. I will show that eventually, but let's just cut it for now. I gotta hurry on this row, so. Um, Alright, so bring your hook in, grab your string, bring it back through the block, through the loop, go around both. Bring your short string forward. Chain two. 
and double crochet three times right over top of that string, right into that hole. One, two, and three. And then we're going to cut, oh, no, I thought there was a string there. There's not, okay. Go ahead and keep going then. We want, what did I say? Five of these. So, five of the hot pink. There's three. Let's cruise along here. Kind of out of time. So, trying to keep these videos. About 30 minutes, I think, is what we're trying to stick to. Well, one, it's the upload. It's a very long time to upload if I get too much more than that. All right. We are on number five. Okay. So we want to do two of the whites and one green. So grab your white, lift it up, give it a little tug, make it tight, go in, grab your yarn, bring it from the block through the loop, chaining up three, and double crocheting three times. One, Two and three. Do it again. We want two of these and then one green. One, two, and three. Last one is green. So we're going to lift that up. Go underneath that first post, grab it, bring it through the block and the loop, chaining up three, and double crocheting three times. Let's get a really quick count here. So, row 20. Row 20 we had five off right, one, two, three, four, five, one hot pink, one, two, three pinks, one hot pink, two pinks, one, two, three, four, five hot pinks, two whites, and one green. And that'll be it for this video. Thank you.